Hi everybody. Hi, sorry. I'm just trying to take care of something. Hello. Anybody? Hey, Victor. Colton. Colton, 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 Colton. Oh no, I got your address. Um, hold on a second, you guys. Hello. Hey, Yolanda. Okay. Yeah, yeah, as long as... If you can be here, like, yeah, in the evening would be fine because she didn't sleep all night last night and all day today. So she's been up basically for two days. Um, and she's, she's asleep now. So I'm guessing... Yeah, so, yeah, so she didn't sleep. She hasn't slept in a couple days. So she's asleep now. So um, she'll be fine tomorrow. But I'll call Clay and then Clay can come over and hang out until you get here. So don't rush though. I know. Right. Yeah. No, I think, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm gonna say yeah, yeah. So three, four o'clock, whatever, whatever it takes. Just as long as, let's say by dinner time, five. Yes, yes. No. No. Yeah. No. But I talked to him already today about his mom, so. But he came over. He came over. Yeah. Yeah, no. Okay. Okay, I will. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, thanks, Rolanda. Okay, bye. Sorry about that, guys. That was my my worker. I need it. I need for her to come in tomorrow. My dad my dad went to the hospital, so yes, your package is on the way, Colton. I sent it out today. Sorry about that. I thought I had sent it. You can't watch these night streams going to bed. All right, Jim. Good night. Yeah. Yeah, my dad my dad's in the hospital. Um so he may be going in for surgery, so I wanna be there. <clears throat> hey John Bradley. So I was just making sure she was gonna be here. Okay. I should be done. I know, Douglas, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. It has to be okay. I don't wanna get I don't wanna start bawling. God, that's so I do about that I'm whited out aren't I let, let me see if I can find a different light bulb hold on Hot, hot, hot. There. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's better. <laughs> I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like an albino. Uh, this is a stick up all the pennies <laughs> in the purse. I'm telling you, you're funny, Daniel. Thanks, John. He's having brain surgery. He's he has stage four lung cancer, and the cancer has gone to his brain. So they're gonna remove a, the larger of the three masses that are in his brain. Thanks, Douglas. Thanks, guys. That means a lot to me. It means a lot to me. Okay. <clears throat> 
Everything would be okay. My sister's there now, so I'll be there tomorrow. I will be there tomorrow. All right, so I'm going through nickels. I don't know if I can get this to where. No, but I am drinking this. I'm telling you. They were saying that after the surgery, like three days in the hospital. That's crazy, right? Yeah, so it's like brain surgery, and then you're out walking around two to three days. So, yeah. So we'll see. We don't know if he's going into surgery tomorrow, what's going on. But I want to hang out with you fine folk. Thanks, West Texas. I've been wanting to do these nickels. I, did, I started doing them, and I started actually filling up, putting some in my more modern... I have the 19, this one is, I don't, I can't read backwards. So this one is 1962 to 95. I don't have the newer nickel one. And then I have the 38 to 61 out. I know, that's, it's crazy. Yeah. Thanks you guys, thanks you guys, thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah, so, so what is Sean's talking about? Because there's a lot of people in the room right now. If you go to my video that says nickel, nickel, who's got the nickel? I haven't looked at your video yet, Robert, but I will. And I know I read what it said. Why Gold actually posted something on his page as well. So if you want to go over to his page, um, click on his link right now. And you can subscribe to his channel and you can watch. And he's got some other videos of me metal detecting and stuff too that are unflattering. <laughs> but but they're really they're good to see a different perspective of me detecting. Um so the, get, the giveaway, I'm giving away this bag of money. This is stuff that I found in my purse. And then I had, you know, a peso, 20 pesos. And there's a couple $1 pesos. There's some 2017 pennies, 2017 dimes, some nicely toned coins. I have some crusty coins in there. I have a bicentennial quarter. So it's just basically just little pocket chains i'm giving away some pocket chains that i had in my purse so in the way the way that the giveaway goes just so you know before you head over there is that all of you guys right right brooke <laughs> sorry um is that you have to vote for somebody else you need to go to that video and you need to tell me who do, who you think should get that bag of money. You can't vote for yourself, and you can't ask for votes. But it's more of a, I think so-and-so should have it. It doesn't matter if it's somebody that's new to the channel, old to the channel, supportive of the channel, have won before. Just somebody that you think genuinely deserves to have that, or should have that. Or if you had it, you would give it to them. That kind of thing. Um, that was something a little bit different kind of kind of show some love so you can head over to my nickel nickel my nickel nickel video I did earlier hey potato lover right let me re, let me retract head over to that nickel nickel video and watch it and then you vote in the comment section don't you can't tell me in the live stream because I won't write nothing down and I won't retain the information you have to go to that video while you're there like that video like it and share it and love it and then vote for who for who you want down in the chat okay let me just read your guys' comments thanks for the prayers hey Cheryl yeah hi Rico oh uh, that's gotta be Clay I'm gonna get that call not to mention but can I get the mailing number Sylvia school is starting soon and I'm excited to show my friends the mailing number, my P.O. box? I don't know what mailing number you're referring to. Sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, what did I miss from Brooke? Oh, he just said like drive up surgery is what we're talking about with, um, with my dad. Um, your profile picture didn't change on here, but I, um, is Sean, but I noticed in um, Couch's one it was a different picture. But on here, for some reason, it's the same picture. Clay, what's the news? Time factor is that Hey. 
yeah, she's in bed. Um, yeah, I got it. She, I just um, had her come in here on the couch, and I was just holding her hand, and we were just kind of like cuddling on the couch watching TV, and she found, fell asleep. Yeah, so, but, um, no, no, no. We had a little discussion, and then I put on something on my TV in here because he was watching the news in there, so... Yeah, I just I just kept saying the same thing over and over again. You know, this is your home, and and then when that didn't work, I just said, okay, well, well, we're gonna stay here tonight, and then and then we'll figure out what's going on tomorrow. But she just kept saying how you know that she was tired and her mind's, and so she was recognizing that she was tired. Um, so and that's why I, I put when, once I put the TV on and cleared an area, you know, and that she felt like right to sleep. Yeah. 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 I think that that that's too much and too confusing. Yeah. Yeah. So so yeah, we just and then I ended up getting her up and then we went in there and I got her pajamas out and she had pajamas on, went to the bathroom, got that taken care of and then got in bed. Yeah. Um, but real, real quick, uh, my dad's in the hospital. He went in tonight. Yeah, so he's there tonight. Um, I called Yolanda, and Yolanda can be here tomorrow evening, like by three, so that I can go. So she just wanted me to call and just let let you know with that, and then I think I'm gonna have her stay here probably for three or four days. I know, but that's big. She's got stuff going on. She normally she normally gets here first thing in the morning, like eight in the morning. Yeah, between eight and ten, she usually gets here a lot earlier than I get back here because she leaves early to beat the border traffic. But I usually don't leave here till ten. Um, the last time, the last time that it was a split shift, I paid her cash. And then I just had Roger pay me the full day. And then I just gave her $50 cash. No. But that's not true because I gave her half my pay. I gave her 50 bucks out of my own pocket. Like $10, like $5. I understand, I understand what you're saying. Well, I just won't get paid for that day, Clay. Well, you're just making it more confusing than it needs to be. Yeah. Okay, so, so 3 o'clock tomorrow she'll be here. So I'll try to stay as long as I can, but... If my dad ends up going to surgery, I'm going to, yeah, I mean, your mom will be okay. I believe she'll probably sleep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay.
Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Right. Right. All right. Okay. All right. Thanks, Clay. Sorry about that, guys. That was May's son trying to get things together for tomorrow. Only four more slots to go. That 24D, that's cool. I think that's the one that I bought. The 24D. Where's my penny? Let me grab my penny. Real quick, and then I gotta do these nickels. 24... Nope, I don't have the 24D. Maybe it was... I don't know. I can't remember which one I bought. 26th? What's another key date? In the 20s. Hey, Gerald. 280 subs, Morgan, what? 22D. Oh, I want a 22D, Brian. 20... I don't have any of the 22s. I have the 23s. I have the 23s. I have <clears throat> one, the 24 plane, the, all the 25s. I don't have the 26s. And then I'm filled all the way to 31. Oh, cool, potato lover. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, Mark Smith. My oldest toad, your oldest toad, between 1919 and 1999, awesome, 24 and 22, let me get mine, <laughs> I think I just got my first Lincoln scent book, just started collecting, I have 26 Canadian nickel, I probably do, Colton, hey Cheryl and John, yeah, so my 20s, so here's my 20, so I don't have these, these, this, this, and this. And then, of course, my my first page, I'm missing the old famous one here. <coughs> here. And then what's that one? Oh, I don't have the, the, the 1909S and the 14S. And this is a fake, this is a fake 14D. 15s. I don't, I'm sure I have the 15s. And I have everything else. And then my 30s. And I'm sure I have all these. But otherwise, my book is. It's pretty. And I have that steel scent. I just gotta put it in there. Yeah, so. Pretty cool. Let's see, Colton, when I get my Canadians out, I don't feel like pulling that out right now. What did Victor, what happened to Victor? Oh, the stealing of the tools, that sucks. People suck. Hey, Gerald, I'm sorry, I'm going to catch up here. Mark Smith, 19, three 1920s. I have 1920s, though. Um, S, because I fund two of the rows. Can we see the front of the... Oh. Mm -hmm. This is my dance go. My dance go album. <laughs> okay, Victor. All right, Victor. I know. I know he was working a lot. I messaged him, but he's spending like... A few days with his girlfriend. Yeah, I like my Dance Go albums. I have um, this one. I have my Walking Liberty and a Currency one. Oh, and then I have the the Lincoln Scents going forward. I don't think I have anything in that one yet. I don't even know where the hell that's at, actually. Yeah, I messaged him, Cheryl. Sorry, I need to sit up tomorrow and have him subscribe you. Oh, awesome. Justin tomorrow, but can you say hi to him tonight? He's 
not been feeling good. Mm. Hi, boyfriend of Brooke. Hi, boyfriend of Brooke. Thanks for watching. Sorry, you're not feeling good. Mm. You want to see the sure? So here's my currency one. And then so this one I keep like more of my higher dollar ones. Currency. And then I have other ones I need to put in here. I have like an autograph dollar from um, Zach Brown and but yeah, the currency one's pretty cool. And it's got like 10 pages and you can buy more pages, but and then I have just my regular, my regular currency one. See, you guys, I never get these nickels done. <laughs> Yay for making him smile. I like making people smile. Let me grab my notebook. Okay. All right, you guys, sorry. I'm gonna move my that bag of nickels. I'm never gonna get this bag of nickels done. 21 people in the room, what? What? Do I have any educational notes? What are those? I don't know what those are. Mine collects $2 bills. Yeah, Gerald did. Um, thanks, Sylvia. Hey, name's Smile. Okay, all right, I'm putting my nickels away because now I'm gonna get my albums out. Don't forget about the giveaway. Go to my Nickel Nickel channel, my Nickel Nickel um, video, in order to nominate somebody to receive these. Yeah, I was all ready for tonight. I even had my flips out. I had my little whip stop out. Hey, Brian. Okay, let me get rid of my stupid phone. I'm done with my phone. Okay. Okay, so here are my albums. These are my albums album albums and I actually get them at the thrift store buck 99 half off so I get them for 99 cents and then I buy the sleeves for the inside and I get a really good deal on them and I'll pull them out and we'll see how well we can see them this is oh this is my painted my painted coins my kind of my oddball-y kind of kind of stuff that I like PM later all right potato lover thanks for coming I got my little tiny coins. These ones, these ones are actually metal. Let me see that. What did I do with that? I don't know where anything is, you guys. Okay, but anyways, and that's, that's metal. You can tell by the way it doesn't have nothing written on that one. But I do have one that's written on the world's smallest coins. And these ones. Yeah, these ones are metal too. I can show you with these ones. This. And they're really teeny tiny. They're pretty cool. Oh, the flips? You can get the flips at your local coin shop, or you can get them from Amazon. I get mine on Amazon now because they're cheaper. I can get a big bulk of them. You want to get Terry set up with binders and stuff? Yeah, the binders come in handy. I have a, a binder for every denomination, and then and then some. Um, and I collect the painted coins because there's a lot of history behind painted coins. Like this one's got the orange paint on it. Um, Get orange. Here, I'll just hold it up and see if we can do it like that. I don't have to pull everything out. Oh yeah, perfect. 
I got red, and I love this one. Richie Sage Row. Morgan D. Been on hunting a few years ago, but my back one never recovered. Mm. And then this one's like a painted one. Let's see what the back looks like. Oh, the black is nothing. The back is nothing. But it's like a little painted one. A big red X. It's orange. It's a turquoise penny. Pink. Just a bunch of different painted ones. I like the painted coins. I don't know why. I just do. I've even actually bought them before. And these are just tones. Different tones. And the half dollars and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Oh, so just some dirty toned ones. Oh, and then I, I also collect the red scents. So these are all just like red scents. Just like a red tone to them. And then nickels. I just kind of have them separated. In different color nickels. Orange and green. That's kind of like my odd folly stuff that when I come across it, I collect it. I'm going to ask, as initial series, the informational name used for the binding message referred to a series O, produced by the U.S. for the late 1800. I don't have any 1800 ones. Um, I know that she has, like, one in her, in her bathroom. Hey, Rico. I will take that out another time. She's sleeping in there, but she has it in her bathroom. She has um, an older, older currency in there. Okay, so that's just my, that's just my oddbally folder. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh god. Here's one of the local coin shops, LakesideCoins.com. Uh, the notes are beautiful. SJ, would you look up? When you have time, very expensive. Yeah. Everybody here loves silver. We're at the state quarter. Ooh, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. Cool collection. What? Okay. This one, oh, this one was just dimes. I say just dimes like they're just dimes. These are all my silver ones. All my silver dimes. I've got some Mercs and some Morgans. <clears throat> it's just there. There's um, Brooke. There's some that um, like a, a red quarter. A red quarter back in the day used to they used, they call them jukebox coins because and it's not the fifty cent pieces but the quarters. Um, what 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 the bars would do is they would paint quarters red. The, the bartenders and <clears throat> you know usually back then the bartenders were female so they would paint the quarters red and they would feed the jukebox they would give them to the customers to put in the jukebox and then when they emptied the jukebox money out they would know how much money the bar put in versus how much money customers put in but they would just use those quarters over and over again and of course you had dishonest people or the bar closed or whatever it may be and those quarters got out in circulation and hence that's how the red quarters came about and you can actually look you can google red quarters and it'll it'll tell you that story okay dimes i hope i answered your question mm. <clears throat> oh okay so there you go victor so okay so dimes these are all the silver ones and then i have i don't know i have some in little I don't know why, but let me see what they are. Like I said, it's, so this one's a 1946. This is probably, I don't want to, it's like BU, BU condition, this one. Did you say? Yeah. Yeah, it is very cool. And this one's in very, very good condition. I can't see it that well. But yeah, very, very cool. I don't know where I got it. But it's a 1946 um, Philadelphia 
Oh, it's an S. It is an S. It's a 46 S. Let's see what this one is. And this one is a 1957 mint um, plain. How shiny that baby is. But that's a 1957. I got 63s and 60s. 45 Mercury, 27 Mercury, um, it's a 20 Mercury, I have a 1911 Morgan Dime, okay, okay, so I got, I got a fair amount of silver. Oh, I know where I got those two little cylinders from. I got those from um, um, Steve Goring. We did a trade. Let's see. Wait, cool barrier will be some. I don't have colored coin, but I'm really not crazy about them either. A lot of people just don't like them, but I, I'm fascinated by them for some reason. Yeah, very. Um, hey, Sylvia. Nugget put out a new video. I know. I need to go watch it. Yeah, I, I I took a long nap today. I was very, very tired. That's why I didn't do a, a midday um, a stream before Justin's. <clears throat> May didn't sleep last night. She didn't sleep all day. And I just, I could, there was no amount of these that would keep me awake today. So I gave up and I went to sleep and I slept for like three hours. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Oh, here's my Roman coins. A couple Roman coins. That one's really cool. These are like the first Roman coins that I ever bought. But I like this one because of the picture on there. And that one's from 40, 40 to 395 AD. And here's another one. Do you ever consider a one nickel trade for Canadian George? Yeah. We can do, we can do a trade, but not on here. And let's see what else I got in here. Oh, here's the, the here is the first coin I ever bought. This is the first coin I ever bought. You're a green monster. Drink too much sugar in that, Daniel. Yeah, I know they are, but I can't. I can drink one of those, or I can drink a whole gallon of iced tea. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so this is... Sorry, I'm just reading the comments. So that was my very first coin I ever bought at the coin shop. And then I move on to my... <clears throat> blank page. To my silver quarters. I'll show you these because these are really cool. I'll pull them out. This one Steve sent me. And I showed that one off before. What was it? So there's one of my quarters. And that one's a... Uh, 64. I have a 61. Very, very nice one. The coin I bought. How are you talking about, Colton? Oh, it. You're talking about the one I just showed. Um, I don't even know where it's from. It's from New Zealand. Oh, it's from New Zealand. I have a couple of them now, but it's cool because it's got a little tiki face on it. That's why I like it. It's from New Zealand. Okay, so that was a 61. Here's a 56. Hi, Brian. Good bugs. Here's a 60. Most coin, most most American coins, anything up to 1964 is silver. I have the Spitting Horse quarter. I have that, and I'll have to show you that when I have my microscope. <clears throat> Sweet is my favorite all drinks. <laughs> That's funny, Brooke. 
These sort of coins look like, yeah, those, they are. They are proofs. <clears throat> and this is a, a Wisconsin proof cameo. Oh, it just has the, the deep cameo finish to it. Um... This is a 1962. I found the spitting horse in Cornwall Hunting. Yeah, so these ones are, are, are proofs. Um, I got a couple golden ones. That's a gold, a gold one, 2003 golden one. Oh, very cool, Cheryl. Hey Sylvia, here my notification pull off. Um, when did it, when would they have gone off? No, it's not three leaves, Victor. The I don't think the proofs had that three the three leaves. Yeah, and then here's um, here was one of those painted or the sticker coins, and this one is Marilyn. What year is it? Two thousand. All right, Brian. See you later, alligator. Maybe Mark. Okay, so there's that one. I got some. Oh, and then I got here some more. I don't know why I accumulated these quarters, but here's a bicentennial deep cameo proof. Would you be interested in a gem new Canadian ten dollar bill? Perhaps you have to contact me through Facebook. Hey, coin and card, and then I get it. Sixty three. <clears throat> oh, okay, Victor. Gotcha. But yeah, all my all my quarters that I have in here are all the proof. This one's just a regular proof. It's not Canadian. All right, Gerald. Thanks for stopping by. See you tomorrow. Um, I'll be at at the hospital and stuff tomorrow. Um, I'll try to I'll jump on in the morning, but I'm gonna be going to the hospital. Do you know I confirmed about Facebook friendship? So did you know I confirmed out? And oh, you did. I haven't been on Facebook today, but I will. Thanks. Thanks for being my friend. Trying to get you a 2017. Oh yeah, I want a, a Looney. I know it's not Lonnie, it's Looney. Very cool. And then here's another Bicentennial. This one's not a deep cameo, but just a cameo. So, this, so the deep cameos actually have a deeper, a deeper thing to it. And here's just a regular 62 silver. This one's a little worn, but they you can tell the age of it. it's just m marvelous. Got history behind it. The forty one. So that one's cool, nice aged. I should put on there like what I paid for them, huh? Um, are you under the same name on Facebook? Yes, I am. SJ's Mixed Adventures. Here's a nice 63. It's not... Let me see what... I'm going to mark on that. I can't see. I'm horrible. My eyes are horrible. Mm, so it looks to be... No mint mark. No. It's a Philly. Mm hmm Oh, sorry. <clears throat> um, 54, 64. Is it 54? Another 64. Alright, that's my quarters. I have other ones, I just haven't put them in my book yet. Because, ugh. I'm going to save the best one for last. Let's see what this one is. Oh, these are my nickels. So I got a bunch of buffaloes. 
Uh, very few strong looks. So, hey, Leon. I'm showing off my collection. I'd like to just tilt it a little more. So these are just buffaloes. Here, dated buffaloes. There's more buffaloes. What does that say? Oh, this is the one I won from Justin. From Couch. I don't have any proof. I Well, proof weeds are just S mint marks. Oh, yeah, I have a lot of S mint marks. And then some buffaloes, but that's one I went on just just in stream. Um, and just these are just a bunch of nickels, different dates. I don't like these small flips at all because they fall out all the time. And I find it like this one's probably on my floor somewhere. Nineteen oh oh here's um the bottom. Here's a nineteen oh four barber nickel. War Nichols, um, 2017, and then I got some copper rounds, there's my copper round, a couple, three different ones. Oh, okay. I hear you, Victor. I'll see another one go by, so they're even more pretty. But yeah, the copper rounds are really cool. And then I have some more currency in here. These are my original currency album. I have some that have, you know, low numbers. These are my low number bills. Some more low numbers. This one's a trinary, I think. Wait, one, two, th no. A low number. <clears throat> Here's my $100,000 bill. And this one says, have a nice day. What is that? Three four four nine eight four nine one. Oh, I think I think this one is my. Oh, what the heck that one is? Three four four nine eight four one nine one. I don't know what's so special about that. Maybe it has a drop number or something. I don't know why I'd have to look at them again. Why I saved them? <clears throat> but I had a whole bunch of them. So oh, trinaries. Some good numbers. I went through and got rid of a bunch, like I said. I just kind of held on to these ones. This one's a cool one. Look at that one. Four zeros. I only kept ones that had like interesting numbers. Otherwise, I had a whole whole bunch of star notes. Star notes. Star notes. Just a bunch of star notes. Five dollar star note. Don't wear. I had a twenty dollar star note, but I, for some reason I had to use it. No, this is this is a really cool. Cool one. One four four two zero four four one, and if you take this number and you add all the numbers together, it adds up to twenty, which is the sender number. So that one's really cool. One. And what else is cool? These are like all star notes. Star notes really don't have a value unless like they're got great numbers to them. Um, I got some crispy, some crispy star notes, like this one's pretty new, but somebody folded it. 
Mm, no, I wouldn't keep it. I wouldn't keep it. What else special I have in here? Oh, and then I got some foreign currency in here. And my little Lincoln Kennedy penny. Oh, and here's the one that's, this is autographed by Zach Brown. That Zach Brown's autograph. These are some little, and then I got the little French notes at the bottom. But these are like little tax things. I'm not going to show you my penny one. My penny one's boring. And I've showed this one off before. This is my half dollar one. And this one, my half dollar one, is pretty full. But I'll just show you my favorite ones. I found them at Ishan. I bought some. This is like one of my favorite coins. I found this one. I got this one from the bank. I asked, walked in the bank and I was asking for half dollars. And the teller had this and didn't know what it was. And, get, and I got it. <clears throat> so this one was really cool. And I looked it up and this one's like in pristine. Like the person had just, hey Beth, had just dropped this off. And this is probably like a $25 coin. And then I got some of the immig immigrant ones. This is the immigrant half dollar. It has the sun on it. I got two of those. And then I just got all my walking liberties. Oh, here's a really cool one. It's a Benjamin. Hi, Beth. Okay, so what? So, but what's going on, Beth? I need to go to bed. Okay. Oh, that's right. Have fun tomorrow. Okay, Sylvia, I gotta go. All the best to you, Dad. Thanks, Mark. All right, I'll see. You. I'll see you sometime tomorrow. <clears throat> if not, just I'll probably see you in the evening, or I don't know what's going on. Playing it by ear. Anyways, this one's a really cool one. And like I said, I know I've showed these off before. <clears throat> this one was different. I don't think I showed this one. This one's got like a really dark gray Tony, and it looks like if you look at the back. I think I bought this one for some reason, but it's got like gold leafing on it or something. <clears throat> it's like a dark gray. <coughs> but these are like my extra, these are my extra walking liberties. And then I have, you know, my silver, my silver halves. These are all silver. And then, then it gets into my NIFCs. And then I have some, you know, these I found in circulation. The cameo proofs. But then the rest are just like NIFCs and <coughs> toned ones and Susan B. Anthony's. And I've got like the presidential deep cameos. Mm -hmm. It is a great group of people, John Bradley. You're a great group of people. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so that's so that's my my half dollar one. I told I told my kids if if something ever happens to me, grab the light blue folder. <laughs> that's the one you want to grab when you're they're fighting it out for my collection. Oh, then I have like these really cool things. Look, <laughs> they're like these big huge. <laughs> my big huge ones I have a buffalo nickel in one of them but this is my penny album so of course my penny album is run it over oh is Morgan here somebody wanted to know about the rainbow toned one here's my rainbow tone that I have so it's pretty cool rainbow see that? Oh, that one's really cool. That's like one of my favorite. 
Start painting a quarter thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the painted quarter thing is really cool. I have a couple of those. Oh, here I have a clip, a clip planchet. I have the clip planchet. And I have when I just found the other one, I got to put it in here. So I got the 98 white AM. I got the 2000 white AM. And then I have another one over here I just found. Stick it in my book. And then another 98 white AM. I just found this in all my junk over there. Well, I can't say it's junk. It was just over there. Here's my 1909. Let's see if I can... I don't know. And if I can get it in here, you see it? The stupid glare. Anyways, the 2009. I have to take my word for it. And this is a no VDB. I don't know why it's not in my book. This is like the first one I found. This shouldn't be in this book. And I have an off center strike. It's no date, a no date off center. I'm going to try Beth. Uh, my dad's in the hospital, so I don't know what my game plan is yet. And here's the lamination error. goes through it. Um, I have a bunch of tones. The Indian heads. 21. If I have anything spectacular in here to show. Mm, 20, yep, 1920s, wheat pennies, 18, 1898. Let's see. Let me look at my, I like, those ones are boring to me. All these older ones, I'm sorry. Oh, very cool. I like, I like the V-nickels. I'm waiting for mine to come in the mail. I just, I just bought like 21 of them. I know. I will. My my streaming is my outlet. It calms me down. Unless it's Sean's bugging me. <laughs> just kidding, it's Sean. i just kidding, it's Sean. I love you. Let's see. These are just, these are all just like really shiny old pennies. Like AU or BU condition. Like these. You know, really shiny. The 68S. 69. I have like a whole, a whole roll of uncirculated ones. I'm just trying to look for something special here. 80s, 89s. These these should be actually be in my book. But this is before I have the, them in here before I got my book. Oh, here's the ones. Who's the one that <clears throat> that's in here that collects the lucky pennies? I know that there's somebody in here that collects the lucky pennies. I, I answered your question already. Two seven one three 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 nine three. I would I would spend it, Rico. <clears throat> I wouldn't I wouldn't save anything that has more than three of the same number, or three with three consecutive. You know what I mean? It can only have three numbers in it. You have, you have, of course, the solid one, solid numbers, a binary which is only two different numbers in it, and a trinary that has three, and then you can get bookends, bookenders. You can get a ladder. You can all these different phrases. You have to look up fancy, fancy notes, fancy currency, fancy, fancy serial numbers. <clears throat> okay. This is, oh, yeah. So I hope that answered my question. Your question about yeah, like two 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 nine nine nine, right, or something. Exactly. Thanks, Colton. Okay. So here's here's I collect these, and these are the lucky pennies. If you guys have ever seen them. And this one's actually got a 1935 uncirculated wheat in there. And this one says, um, keep me and never go broke. And then on the back it says members of, wait, 
the Lucky Coin Club. Members of the Lucky Coin Club, it says on the back. So that one's pretty cool. I don't know. Now, again, these, these I can't remember if I bought. Okay, Beth. Sleep well. Have fun. And then this one says Joe W. Brown's Horseshoe Club. I just have always liked these. And this one is a 1937 wheat. And this is a really old one. Old crusty one. Yeah, I love these two. Let me pull it out of the flip. Give that better. But this one's really old. And this one, let's see if I can read what it I can't read what it says. It's too crusty. Um, Mountain something, something club. Mm -mm. Let's see. This was the very first one I ever bought. And this one actually has an Indian. Let me pull it out of here. Has an Indian head in there, and it's a 1901 Indian head. It is 10 o'clock here. And this one on here, um, I do keep, I do keep birthday notes, some of them. This one is from E.B. Moore Company, like a flooring company. And this was the price tag that the person that sold it to the coin shop was asking for it. And I bought it from the coin shop. I think I paid five bucks for it. I like the angel numbers, you know that. But yeah, that one's cool. And it came in this like little, this little flip. I don't know what this flip is for, but it says Air Canada on it. So I just bought this all as one, so I keep it in there. I keep it in there. And let's see. I got a couple of the same ones that I bought in a lot. 1952. And these ones, these ones I bought. And, and I usually don't pay more than five bucks for these. Just depending on what it is. This one's like from a florist. Let's see. Yeah. Fort Wayne. <laughs> Those are silly. Anyways, oh, I need to put this one in there. My wide eight in. I don't have any room in the front seat. Oh, just to get there. Ah. Nineteen oh two Indian. I have more Indians. I have like a medicine bottle full of them. I just haven't put them in my books. I actually have a book too for Indian heads. Indian pennies. What is Brian doing? He's making all kinds of videos. Chilling. I know. Are well, you going to love this? Because I need to go potty. I need to get like a little card like. There's somebody else that has like a little card that says, please stand by. <laughs> I'll, put my, I'll put my flowers in front of it. You can stare at my flowers. My neighbor gave this to me today. He drops these little flowers off in the backyard for me.
you miss me? Did you miss me? Oh, see, I got. See these little flips? This penny dropped out. This is a steel scent, a proof steel scent. Oh, bye, Douglas. I'm sorry. Well, you guys, I'm off, Brooke. I will keep your boyfriend in my prayers and as well as Sylvia's dad. Thank you. Thank you, D Douglas. Dougie. What did you say, Mocha? My iPad is charging. I'll be right back. Okay. That's probably all Sylvia's talking about girls are just around. <laughs> it's true. When you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> I'm not gonna, maybe I should wear a diaper or something. <laughs> So here's like one of the, and I usually save all my receipts for what I buy. So this is the Mount Sinai Hospital Clinic of Los Angeles. One of the, the scents that I bought. And I see I paid five bucks for it. I won't pay more than five bucks. But I keep those, so. Anyway, so yeah. So these little, these little tiny one and a half inch flips, I hate. But that's a cool, that's a cool um, steel scent proof the proof still sent I got a couple of those okay that's it that's it for that now I got a mess all over the place <laughs> and I need one of those key boyfriend here yeah I hope he feels better being sick sucks <laughs> Oh yeah, a diaper. <laughs> You're gonna need a diaper if I keep making you laugh. <laughs> okay, Rico. Yeah, me too. Thanks for all you guys' prayers. Good night, everybody. Or good night to Rico, everybody. Okay, now that's put away. I like this. It has like all the pictures of the different, the different things on there. I think that's the only reason why I saved it. It has, it has all the pictures of everything. <clears throat> Anyways. Anyways, okay, so... They, so, they, everybody watched... Or who who all watched that um, Nickel Nickel video? And voted. <clears throat> who voted? Who voted? Who voted? You, is Sean, <clears throat> and Sean voted, I'm so happy, it's crazy, I appreciate it so much, I know, Laura, congratulations, I'm so glad you won, that's so awesome, you voted, Cheryl voted, no, no, you have 24 hours to go on the stream, so by 1 o'clock, I don't know. Is this Pacific Standard Time? I don't know. California Time. I never understood all that. Because then people say East Coast. I don't know. West Coast Time. <laughs> you were at the shop? Gotcha. Can you put this out there? Okay, yeah. Huh. I'm going to leave the door open if the lights are off. Okay. Okay. That way the cat can go in and out. Okay. All right, that's fine. You going to bed? Huh? Are you going to bed? Yeah. Okay. Good night. Yeah. Sorry, he's going to sleep. You don't ever don't say that to Sean. You're never gonna win. Okay, so the the video that you watch is called Nickel Nickel. Who's got the nickel? Remember that game? Nickel Nickel. Who's got the nickel? Nickel Nickel. Who's got the nickel? And then it says giveaway. Yeah. You just never know. Yeah. Yeah, so you can watch the video. I, don't, I think it's, I don't think it's quite an hour long. You don't have to watch the video. Um, it's just basically you go into the comments and um, 
voting for somebody that you think would like to own this. And I'll pull it out and show everybody what it is again, the price. This is just my pocket change, my purse change that I just pulled out. Someone went through it today and um, it's over an hour. In this stuff that was in my purse. This is from when I went to San Felipe, so it's 20 pesos. And they got really cool money. Because they got like this little see-through window right here. It's pretty cool. And this one's just... Um, let's see what year it is. Dun, 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 dun. 2012. This is 2012. 20 pesos. 20 pesos. And then I got... These are some crusty coins from my metal detecting adventures, official SJ's mixed adventures, crusty coins. I got some damaged coin, another crusty coin. I even got a metal detecting quota in there. There is a 1963 Canadian. It was in my purse. I think I got this from um, the recycling place. There's some really cool toned ones. They have, oh, they have some really nice toning on them. Like the bluish tones, you know. It's really hard to pick up on this because my my lighting. So there's some cool toned ones. Another crusty penny. There's two. There's two 2017 dimes. So there's one and two. And then this one is, I know we looked at it before, but again, I don't retain information. So oh, this is the 1980D dime. I put it in there because I just thought it looked cool. It looked old. And then I got, oh, here's another nice, this is the 1988. So it's really nice condition. And I've got one, two, three, four, five 2017 D pennies. And here's a really nice 1979, really nice one. A bicentennial quarter. And two $1 pesos. So these are, these are like, this is 17 to one. So this is like three cents. <laughs> They're like nothing. A little dollar. And then one of them is a 1986 and the other one is a 2014. Whoppers. Whoppers. What? Whoppers, 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 whoppers. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Whoppers. Oh, Whoppers. Whoppers rock. Okay. Mm. It's a mouthful of yum. Okay. Okay. I'll just come over, Brian. How about that? I'd rather just come over, hang out, and eat Whoppers. Whoppers and popcorn. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> That's funny, Jeffrey. <laughs> okay, so you just vote. Took you go down in the comment section of that video of the nickel nickel video, and you vote for somebody that you would, if these were yours, that you would want to give them to. So, say it was um, is Sean, you would put. I think Ishan should have them, or you can just put his name or whatever it may be. Yeah. Just go down in the comment section. And then, so 1 o'clock tomorrow, 24 hours after the video was posted, I am going to tally those up, and then I'll go live right after that and do the final tally. So, yes, you have until 1 o'clock my time. Chocolate covered almonds. Huh, they're okay. I like raisinets. 
raisinets are really yummy too. Oh, I may have to get that next. It's not good for me to say that because I'm diabetic, but <laughs> I'll just take extra medicine. <laughs> have my little, my little monitor. <laughs> if I start getting like all, ooh, then you're like, Sylvia, you need to take some meds. Oh, I don't like sour candy. Mm -mm. Yeah. So it's, it's right now it's 1030 my time. Mm. Okay, I need to get through some of these nickels, you guys. So I'm going to go through these nickels while, while we're chit-chatting, okay? Because I want to take them in. Because I'm tired of carrying around this. <clears throat> Brian's little thing's coming up. And if I find anything in these nickels, I'm going to give them away. How's that? KK? KK? So where's everybody from? Why don't you guys put it in there so everybody knows where everybody's from while I'm going through this. I feel like I have something, like every time I look down, you know how you could see, like see something? I don't know what it is though. I don't know. I look like crap. Does anybody collect the, oh, the 2004s? Oh, this is a 2005. Lafayette, Louisiana. That's right. Lafayette. God, there's something <laughs> bothering me. What is that? Ooh, butterscotch and cinnamon. I like cinnamon bears. Anybody else like cinnamon bears? Lexington, Kentucky. Ooh. I love horses. I love horses. I'm going to get a really good, cool tattoo right here of a galloping horse that I, that I drew. Thanks, Brooke. Okay. I got to get these spinnies. God, I can see. I can see it. Is that right there? Is that it? I'm too old to have a zit. I am going to try it. Butterscotch and cinnamon. I bet you that's a good drink, too. That's probably where you got it. Ninety. Eighty-nine. Two thousand. Now, these nickels I've gone through already. But I had them in these containers, in case you didn't catch my earlier one. I had them in these containers. I was, did them at my mom's house. And then I neatly put them inside of this white bag, this fake bag. But of course, I forget. And I was just manhandling this bag. So, um, they dumped out. So, I know I have like some older ones in here. These are the ones I'm keeping. So far, there's just two. And then this one is getting dumped back in the bag. I don't know. I just I just think that it's actually like hieroglyphics. Um, I think I can pull it up. Let me, let me get a picture of it. I don't have my art book with me, but I do have it posted on my personal Facebook. Um, that's really cool. Squirrel. Um, Hmm, it's not coming out. I have my art, some of the things I've painted. Right. 
pictures of me when I was young and beautiful. <laughs> I was a party girl. <laughs> I was so young, I at my daughter. This is in Tijuana. That's me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where it is. I'll have to find it. But I had one that said future tattoos. I just have some cool pictures of me and my son. It's not nice to ask how old somebody is. Let me look real quick. Let me find it. Horses, but horses ass. So horses ass. Okay, I don't know where it's at. <clears throat> but yeah, it's like hieroglyphics. That was called like the little drawings on rocks. Is what it looks like. Oh, sorry. He asked so many questions, Cheryl. She's twenty five. It's, it's not polite to ask. It's just not polite to ask because some people are sensitive about their age. It's just not to pl polite to ask. Mm. Super strong. So just be sensitive, is Sean. About some of your questions, especially towards women. I hear in the 80s was long as yours. <laughs> and, and, and you wore it and you didn't put it in a ponytail, I bet. Oh, Ryan. He is very, he's a very curious boy, for sure. Oh, this one's a nice one. Where's my book? I do have my book out, so I've been trying to fill this up. This is a nice 85. See if I have it in here. It's an 85D. You're autistic. Alright. <clears throat> I'm just going to look through them and try to eye spy anything. I know I pulled out, like, okay. Okay, that you're autistic. I'm glad you're here. And you're being sociable. And that's what you meant by. I hear ya. So I'm getting messages. No. So Eric Eric just messaged me. He just got home from catfishing. Sorry, I just got home from catfishing. Let's see if he'll jump on here. For, just for you, Cheryl. I'm going to tell him that you miss him, okay, Cheryl? Heading home now, do you want to talk now or call me in the morning? So, hopefully he jumps on for you. I know, Sean. You don't have. Sean doesn't have filters. That's what it is. All right. So hopefully Eric jumps on for you, Cheryl. He will. Then I got like this other bag. And this other bag. Uh oh. And I got. Two rolls. I don't know if I searched them or not. I am just going to call this bag. I'm going to keep out those two rolls. Right. It's really hard for me to do. <clears throat> um, the antisocial in real life, believe it or not. Mm. 
I'm sorry, I don't know how other people are going through them. Yeah, this one's very open. Let me look through this. Now this bag, this bag I actually found in <clears throat> my briefcase. So I'm going to go through this one and see what's in here. Wow. So I didn't, I didn't label it. Brown one. Five. Oh, these are the, these are older. So here's the 64. 85. 95, 16, 11, 16. My phone would not let me send an email out to Couch Sylvia. So I had to go to my sister's and she sent by mailing address to him. Do you think that will be okay? Yeah, yeah. Or you can give it to, you can send it to, to, you can send it to me, to my Facebook page, and I can get it to him. I talk to him like every day. I start at 8. Doctors should be in sometime after 8.30. <clears throat> so my sister was just telling me that he's checked in, what room he's in. Doctors should be in sometime after 8.30. So I have got to get up in the morning and head to the hospital. Wait. Three, eight. Stands out. See, and that's what I mean by I just have like random bags. So here's a 64. This is 77. This one looks old. The 58. Put that in there. It's a 68. Put that in there. Nice 87. 18, 16. That one looks old. Ooh, 1949. 49, 49. Goes in there. See, all mixed up. 95. 1964. I don't have any music on. I thought it was pretty quiet. But I like quiet. 85. You guys want to listen to some Zen? I can put some Zen on for you. Where's Clash? Speaking of comfort, where's my Clash guitars? That's a really nice night. 2016. I'm going to put that in there. Anything else it looks old? Oh, that's a 68. Oh, that's an 88. <clears throat> 12 people. People are fading off. It's okay. And then, oh, what's that? Oh, someone killed it. Scratched it all up. That's a 78. How is that? I'll have to look at that under a microscope. That was pretty interesting. Anyways, okay, I'm done. So I'm sure right about what you said about being autistic. Yeah, Sean, stop. Which one is the Spirit Buffalo? Um, the Spirit Buffalo. I just seen one. Oh, wait, here's what's that? A 64. 
<clears throat> so I think it's a 2005 or 2004. Let's see. Here. So here's the Buffalo. And this is the 2005. And I want to say it's the Philadelphia Mint. So 2005. No. I don't get the Philadelphia's. It's supposed to have like supposed to be speared and it's also supposed to have like extra stuff on its head Sorry. just making arrangements with my sister about before I was going to the hospital in the morning so tonight I have to pack I gotta pack to go to the hospital because I'll be over there for my mom's house yeah. The doctors are not always on time. Because I don't know, he may go into surgery tomorrow, so. Yeah, I, I check and I, I do like a, a compile of them. Yeah, sometimes, it's Sean, you just need, shh, 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 it's Sean, shh. Okay, I'm going to put these back in this bag. I'm like over it. I'd rather be talking to you all. I'm going to put on some zen and relax everybody. Maybe relax, relax is Sean's head. That's a nice one. But yeah, I think I have I have a baggie somewhere that has the 2009s and 17s and stuff like that in it. I'm usually pretty good about that. Pulling those ones out. Is there a coin that you really, 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 really like that I don't have? I think. Um. I have to think about that. Um, I like commemorative coins. Um, I'm trying to think of one that I recently tried to buy, but it got too big, too much. I like the Morgans and the Peace Dollars. I've only got one one of each of those. My 1909 Weedy BS. <laughs> and, that, and the 1909 just S, no VDB. I don't have that one yet. Um, a lot of the times, Beth, um, who asked me that? Or Laura. A lot of times, like, if there's something I want, like, I just, I go get it. That that's changing now because my I'm not working as much so um, I like buffaloes I like Indian head scents see because I usually rather than the coins because coins are so common I guess is I like stuff like you know little I like little it doesn't have to be silver it doesn't have to be like nothing, nothing but I like the um, the little sets, like I have a whole thing of them. Um, like I have, you know, all these kind of stuff, you know, with the little, and you can get these for like really inexpensive. And I showed these off last night. They're kind of like the Weeda people, and this one's the Liberty Silver, and it comes with the little, you know, authenticity, and it tells you about it, you know. I don't know why I just I just like the, these little mint set thingies, but these ones these ones were a little bit more. But I collect like like just like the mint sets too. 
So like this one is the 84 uncirculated mint set. I think I paid like five bucks for it. And it's just the little plastic, you know, little doohickeys. All right, Brian, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. And they have like the little informational cards. And I just think these are neat. These are neat. These are a neat addition to your collection. If you're like, if you're just starting out collecting because they're so inexpensive. Like here's an 87. It's an 88. This one's an 81. Oop. And this one is, and they're the same, all the same thing. A little, some of them have like the Susan B. Anthony's. Some have the half dollars. 1980, 1989, and I got the older ones, this is 1963, so these ones are actually silver, well everything but the penny and nickel, but the dime and the, the quarter and a half dollar are all silver, that's the older one. Underproof coins. Oh. So yeah, so like if you're just starting out collecting, these are cool little things. You can if you go to your coin shop, don't pay any more than like five dollars for these things. And I have like, you know, these little commemorative that's what it's called. You know, and I got these, like, I think I got, like, six of them for, like, 20 bucks. But they're really cool little things to have. You know? And they come in the little, the little case. You can take it apart. But they're neat. I think they're neat. And they come with the little whip stop in there. Little whip stop. Anyways, that's my savings account. I sunk a lot of money in, into the stuff like that. Hmm. Inst what do you, Cheryl, do you have Instagram, Snapchat, or Facebook? <laughs> How long have I been doing it? Not very long. Like six, not even six months. I want to say like four months. Not very long. Ugh. I haven't had dinner when I think about it. I ate like one or two. Mm. All right, I'm just recapping here. So what's up, Cheryl? Cheryl Busman? <laughs> How's everything going, Cheryl? You were awesome yesterday. Mm. Okay, so I understand. Yeah, I'll be at the hospital first thing in the morning, so. But I'm charging up my battery packs, and I'll stop by my mom's and get my chargers, so I don't, my, char my stuff doesn't die. Ooh. Go get them. West Texas. It's not like, I mean, got if they are, then fantastic. But they're not all going to be silver. Take out the ones you want. Take back the ones you don't. Go get them. 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 Go get them or I'm going to go get them. Go get them. Either way, I think I found more stuff in bank wrap. Oh my goodness. Be right back. Gotta go. My headphones. Terry needs to sing while I'm... <laughs> All right, Brooke. Yeah, bye, sure. I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for the best wishes. Why are you picking on her, Ishan? I don't know what sucks is. There, there'll be no dumping halves into a coin star. Because you won't get all your money back. I mean, unless you're going to do a gift card. Otherwise, just re-roll them. Ask the bank when you're there for rolls. 
the the wraps and they'll give you free wraps and then re-roll them so you get all your money back and then take them back to the bank i know i still have to pack so i haven't even packed yet yeah yeah then then dump them in the coin store perfect So, yeah, I got I got some cool coins. I like to look at them once in a while. If I was to lay them, I mean, again, I'm transferring stuff over to my mom's house. Sorry. Rude. I would like to like lay them all out. Um, well, the thing about banks is because I've gotten really close with my bank manager. Oh, I hear you. That that they can. They order them, and they actually get charged if they order them. Um, but they can send them back, like to Loomis or whatever it is, and after they have a full box of like 500. So I was, and I didn't know this, <clears throat> that I was taking in like a couple hundred dollars at a time. And then every time I came in, if I asked them if they had halves, they said, no, it's just the same ones you had last time. But no one told me that if I had turned in, you know, $500 of them, then they could have sent them back and got me another box. But they had to hold on to them until they were gone or exceeded $500 in halves. And that's why. Because they, they have to just sit on them in hopes that somebody else comes along and wants them. But whoever takes them in their drawer has to keep them in their drawer. I don't care if the bank's big or, or small. That's how it is, because even like at Wells Fargo, I was consistently dumping and dumping and dumping, and they knew me, and so every time they, they would tell me, nope, same ones as you jumped off, same ones you jumped off, I got $300 in my drawer right now, I can't get rid of them. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's really important, like you hear like on all these different channels, you know, whether it be Dustin or Justin or, or whatever ones you watch that's personable about, you know, be nice, you know, greet, greet the bank manager. Okay, SJ, I mean, okay, as Sean. But yeah, just, you know, the banks, I go to Chase and I go to Wells Fargo and they all know me there because I've gone there so many times and done the same kind of thing that, you know, I was doing, I was doing currency for a long time. Hey, Ashton. Um, and I was, then I did coins, different kinds of coins. I was ordering some, I was bringing them back. So they got to know me and I learned where, what pushed their buttons. Mark my box with an X. Yeah. I, I mark, I mark my rolls. I usually like, if I'm like searching halves, I'll put a big black X on it so that I know, cause I've gotten them back the same ones that I've dropped off. So I put an X on the rolls, not on the coins, but on the rolls. Mark my eyes. Yeah. Yeah, I tell them. Because they're always like, why do you want so many nickels? It's like, what's wrong with nickels? I like nickels. I like to swim in nickels. Yeah, because they don't know. You know, six months ago, I didn't know what the hell coin roll hunting was. So I probably would ask the same question. Like, what a weirdo. Always here getting nickels. But... Now I know, and now I'm in this whole new world of coin collecting. Coin collecting and coin searching and... <laughs> you sound like a creepy stalker. You are a creepy stalker, <laughs> silly boy. I always ask for customer wrap rules and no one has them. I'm learning every day. Bye everyone. Wells turned me down today, but I've gotten... Go, go to a different little town, Cheryl. Try a different, different location. You need to go to a bank that's like buy like a shopping mall or you know inside of a strip mall because a lot of, a lot of the businesses will bank with that bank and so they'll have an abundance of things or like in a you know next to where there's a lot of housing you know or the older part of the town you know and go to a local bank there you know you have to think outside the box you know like here at this at these banks I go to I'm in the the older part of, no, oh, I don't know. In this older part of the town, I can get hand rolls at any bank. Yeah. Interesting. 
Oh, well, you need to try something, try something else for a change. Just, I don't know why that would be. You would think they would have the, the hand rolls. Usually the tellers always get hand rolls. The tellers should have hand rolls. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Twenty five likes. You guys are awesome. I love it. I got I got like new subscribers. I think I got like five or ten new subscribers. I'm getting a box of nickels, two box pennies and whatever customer wrap rolls and half dollars they have. My tellers say all the change from the local CC. I can't get them to do that for me. I gave um them my information that if they got anything unusual that asked them to call me but no one's ever called me unfortunately I wish they would my hair is doing something weird yeah well, you have to let me know what you find. I'll probably end up, if I don't, I'll come on first thing in the morning tomorrow. I know a lot of people haven't been getting my morning notices. I don't know why that is. Like my morning stream this morning, nobody. Five minutes I waited and nobody came. So I don't know what was up with that. I asked for a couple of those. Do this wherever you can and you get a mix of stuff. Sometimes they won't, but I have good luck with it. Very, very interesting. I never thought of that. I go to McDonald's all the time. I love McDonald's. <laughs> I actually went to Carl's Jr. today. I switched it up a little bit and got a spicy chicken and some french fries. I like spicy chicken. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I can feel my my blood sugar going up so I mean, stupid whoppers okay did you see that bug tons of things with branches around here I will try one tomorrow again see if they have changed the policy too yeah that doesn't I would I would go like yeah grocery stores and try to put yeah like the laundromat and thought those quarters have probably been there for a long time yeah yeah because you can also go to you know the places that have the the change machines the laundromats and I don't know who else has like change machines I know a lot of people do tokens nowadays. <clears throat> Let me go outside. Take y'all with me. I love that game. I want to go to Boomers just to play that game. You know what I mean? It didn't work. Oh well. <laughs> it's gonna be dark out here, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> My teeth will glow. I'll smile. That's nice out here. Thanks for the info, West Texas. I have this grocery stores, different places. I just haven't. Let me turn this light on back here. see me oh it's flickering oh how annoying it's not it's not the video it's that light different place yeah once you find that right place girl make friends make nicey nicey my door just slammed <laughs> spooks 
Where's Eric? Where's Justin? Justin, are you there? I know you're here. I bet you he's here. More people are using debit cards and banks says they're not ordering as much coin. Yeah, that that could be true. Yeah, that's true. What's your guys' favorite coin to hunt? I don't think I've ever asked that question. What's your favorite coin to hunt? Like your very most favorite. Okay, Brooke. Nichols, Nichols. See, I think I've had better luck. Pennies, love finding double dies. Yeah. You saw you saw my pennies, right, Brooke? My jar of pennies. My jar of wheats. My small bar my small jar of wheats. Pennies, but my favorite would probably have to be half dollars and get boxes of them. Mm-hmm. I just haven't had luck with half dollars. I haven't, the, yeah. The, la, the last time I got, got that box of half dollars, I didn't even get an NIFC out of there. It sucked. So, they're just being recirculated in this area and there's somebody else that searches in this area because they, they mark it with a marker. Oh, wow, West Texas, that's cool. Yeah, I would see where like, I wouldn't get dimes unless they were like hand hand rolled. Hey, nine dimes. Um, if they were hand rolled, because then you know that the bank hasn't like weeded those out yet. Yeah, I used to, I used to always keep like two boxes of pennies around. I would just stash them underneath my bed, and when I felt like coin rolling, I would just um, grab a roll from underneath my, grab some from underneath my bed and go through them, sort through them. I've got a, I have enough coins to go through and sort through. It probably lasts me months, months upon months of every day sorting and searching. Where it's getting to the point where I'm just going to start selling my unsearched wheats because I've kind of got an idea like what's in there now I mean there's teens 20s there's all that but they're all pretty much the same but I did find when I get back to my mom's house I did find a brand new box of a thousand wheats that I haven't opened yet I had it behind like the dresser in my in my room three boxes of pennies but if I buy the house that would be good till next week and the bank gets in order there you go, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Justin Couch, I know he's gotta be here. He's always here. I downloading and uploading and I haven't watched the t-shirt one yet. Dustin's on vacation. Half dollar. I haven't seen Paul. He hasn't popped on. Anyways, so everybody likes nickels and pennies and, and dimes, sorta. Yeah, I think um, if I had to choose if I had to choose right now, it'd probably be nickels. I like nickels. I like nickels. I found buffalo nickels in um, boxes of of them too. Yeah, and they're cheap. Exactly. They're good therapy. That's what. That's how I found coins. Is I have like really bad anxieties, and they they help calm my mind down going through coins. 
box of quarters, 500. Yeah. I know it's insane. But if you have $500, you don't always have to buy a box. Yeah, that relaxes me. But lately I've been doing like the live streams. I haven't, I haven't been, I haven't like been doing them like on my own, like without the camera in front of me. I don't know why that is. I feel like I need to share it with everybody for some reason. Why not? That way I don't feel alone. I don't like to feel alone. And even though I can't see you guys, I can kind of see you. Yeah. Well, there you go. Buying, yeah. I was doing that for a long time. Taking in, getting back the same amount I had left. I was doing it insanely until I started buying wheats by the bulk. And then that kind of slowed down. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You're not losing anything. Because, you know, things you find, you can sell for more than face value, so you're actually making a profit. You know, it's good for people that are retired, people who are on disability, because it doesn't cost anything. And, you know, it's like fishing. Okay, perfect. Perfect, Brooke. <laughs> Thank you. Better run that than interest in the bank. Absolutely. <clears throat> Absolutely. Oh. Alright guys, what time is it? I'm going for 112 to 113 minutes. Sorry, I'm going back in the house so it's dark. I have to walk. This is my closet. <laughs> my closet. My hat. My jewelry station. Where I make all my jewelry. Yeah, it's 11. <clears throat> you gotta go back to that pawn shop and ask the man how much he wants for just about a handful of mercury dimes. Oh, that's right. That's the one where you said that, that you said that the, he had like a big bowl of them or something like that, right? Yeah. I would. Maybe, maybe he'll sell them like uh, spot price. How much they weigh. Oh, do you? What kind of jewelry do you make? What is this? What is that? I do make jewelry. I haven't made jewelry in a while. <clears throat> I want to start doing some, um, um, some weaving, some some wire weaving, of and do coins. That's what I want to do. I've got like silver sterling silver wire and again another another one of my my things that I did was jewelry so I've got I've got beads in there and boxes that I haven't even opened yet like some really nice beads and maybe I'll, I'll go through another phase again <clears throat> but I made beads for a long time I make keychains and boot bracelets Ooh, yeah Oh, very cool, West Texas. Yeah, wire wrap under a cool. Big cup of buffalo nickels, too. Oh, nice. Yeah, keychains. I have. Um, I actually have like one of the, the tools that drills. You know, that's a hand drill to drill through coins. I have one of those, but I'd rather wire, wire wrap them. I haven't tried to do it yet. I've watched a lot of um, videos on it, how to do the um, the weaving, the wire weaving. Hey, Brian. Just in to say hi. I just did two more videos. I saw that. They popped up. I'm, when I'm done here, I'm going to go through and look at some videos. What is that? Is that a Whopper? Is that a Whopper chin I got going on there? Yeah, I have Dremel tool. It's not a Dremel tool. Um, it's one that for like metal stamping um i don't know what's, you make candles too very cool i made candles for a while too candles are really cool you can put all kinds of things in candles let me see if i can find it I don't know. My little tool. Mm. 
you like cool like rocks like this? Ow. That was like a broken wind chime I, from, from somebody. Yeah, I don't know what I did with it. But it's just kind of like, it, it's got like a twisting on it. Oh, that's what I want. That's what I want. I want a hobo nickel. Oh, I do. I do cold stamping too. I stamp coins. Yeah, I stamp coins too. I've got all that. I'm like, I have a problem. <laughs> I just have a problem. <laughs> I have I have a whole bunch of of cold stamps, like one with the state of California. I have flowers. I have a skull. I have a semicolon. I have four-leaf clover, and I stamp coins too. Like, like I'll stamp. I have a little USA stamp, and I'll stamp it on like a dateless nickel or buffalo nickel. But that's the next thing I want to invest in. Is I do want, <clears throat> I do want to get the stamps that have. Yeah, yeah, that is what I mean, West Texas. Because you can buy those. You're the hobo guy. <laughs> um, I want to get I want to get the stamps that are. I actually looked at them the other day at Michael's. Um, the letters. I want to get that. Because I want to do that for my son's wedding. Start stamping stuff. Yeah, that's really cool. Did you see the one that I pulled out that has the Kennedy head with the Lincoln? Did you see that? And it has like the story of what it means. It's not a leather punch. It's um, and I don't have it here. I took, actually took it to my mom's house. Um, they're for metal stamping, so they're metal, metal stamps. Okay, cool. Silver sniffer. Eric wins again. Damn it! I didn't win. Silver sniffer. Who sells them? Um, Michael sells them, but they have like a very limited selection. But I got mine on Amazon. I got mine from Amazon. It was the best price I can find for the individual ones. I think I paid. It was either I think it was like four ninety nine a piece for them. But if you go to Michael's, they're like twelve bucks. They're like really expensive there, and they're really limited to what they have. And then I, you know, I went to Harbor Freight and got a little tiny hand sledgehammer and. I have a little um, anvil, but it's only just like a little tiny. Yeah, Joanne's has a good selection of them. Yeah, they have a good selection. I need a bigger anvil though, because this one is like really small. Yeah, I like doing that. But yeah, I took it over to my mom's house because over in their backyard, there's actually a. Um, Yes, I do have a gold stamp. Um, there's a workbench there where I can I can do the hammering, and I'm gonna start spending like four days a week at my mom's house. So, yeah, we'll have to do that. It's good for frustration. I wish I I need a new arm because my right shoulder. When you hear me saying "ouch" all the time, it's usually my shoulder that's hurting me. Um, that's why it's been really hard for me to metal detect and stuff. I've gone through physical therapy and it didn't help. I think I need to start practicing my ambidextrous skills and try try using my left hand. But you know, sometimes you use, yeah, one hit is enough. It's really hard to do two because then it skips over. Unless you want to double dye it. So you have to do a good hit. And sometimes, like, if it's not squared up, you'll get, like, a higher and lower point. You just have to learn the stamp. Um, I found, like, the flower ones and stuff like that are really hard to get squared, to squared up. Um, because the coins are such a hard metal. I just haven't... I think it's because normally I'm, like, sitting on my floor with this little tidy anvil and... Hammer, I think if I was at the right, yeah, one hit, one hit, sorry, I'm rambling, but one hit would be enough.
Yeah. I I was sending out my stamp coins with people that were winning my my giveaways. Yeah. I hear you, Laura. Me too. I got to get packing. Yeah, it works on a zinc penny. I have a box of pennies that I haven't taken in, and I and I do them on the old the older ones. But I make sure, of course, there's not a variety or, or anything like that. And I stamp on the zinc penny, and I st I stamp on the copper pennies. All right, thanks, Brooke. Yeah, good. I'm glad you're subscribed to me now. And yes, make sure you click the bell so that you get notified. I know. I hear you, Brooke. <laughs> do you hate that? It's like that's all the time. I'll have. You want to see the mess I made? Look at the mess I made just talking to you guys. I was like, all that and all that. And then my bed has my suitcase on it. All my suitcases and all this. And I have to have that all cleaned up before I leave tomorrow. Yeah. How fun. Yeah, Harbor Freight for the for the little Yeah, it's fun. That's fun. And then if and then if you screw up you just throw it in the box and someone finds it and thinks it's an error. <laughs> <laughs> like oh I have a, this dent in it is an error <laughs> that would be horrible if all of a sudden you saw like you know yeah hey John W oh and did you vote I can't wait to see the response I'm getting on that it was something different oh, something different Good. Good, 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 good. All right. So people are saying good night. So, um, Brian, good night. Bye, Sean. Bye, Brooke. Bye, Laura, if you're still here. Yes, I, I did notice that that's why I only was on your live chat once before because this happened to me on the phone. But you got special tone now. So you will definitely be seeing you more. Good night, Brooke. And good night. What's your boy? I don't even know what your boyfriend's name is. But I hope he feels better. I know there's like a lot of people on Terry. Alright, Terry, I hope you feel better. Hope you feel better. I'll see you soon. I'll see you guys soon. Yeah, make sure you click your click the bell. You didn't scare everybody away, John W. I just Everyone's winding down. I don't have any music playing. Otherwise, there wouldn't even be 11 people in here. <laughs> Everyone would be nodding out. I think it would make me too tired, and I still got stuff to do before I can go to bed. Hi, Annie. There you are. We miss you. Mm -hmm. He's, he is. Terry is famous. You're not leaving for another hour. It's really funny. I will give you an update. Turn away the fishing stuff. Did, so did you catch any any fish? Did you bring any home, or did you catch and release? Oh, okay. Cool, John W. I wonder if anybody ever goes back and watches like my Zen ones, and has that on. Yeah, I'm gonna do like a fish fry, catfish fry. I like catfish. Yeah, everyone was asking about you today, Eric. You went AWOL. Thanks, Brooke. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for coming. That's right. You're with your girl, Eric. I say anything. I'm good. I caught a six pound, but it was the smallest one. Average size, I think, was eight. Wow. That's awesome. Ow. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I need to go fishing. I miss. I love fishing. I haven't, I haven't been freshwater fishing, though. Did you get a boat? Eric?
Eric, Eric, Eric. Yeah, catfish is good. How do you cook it? How do you cook catfish? I don't like that. I don't like that right there. We have a roaring bonfire the whole time. Marshmallows and smoky links. We. Awesome. Are you camping? We have little, but when we catfish, we stay on shore. Is there a dam or something that you go down to? I'll be um, at the hospital probably all day tomorrow. Oh wow. I like catfishing. That's cool. Summertime catfishing. He's okay. He's in the hospital now. Uh, my sister took him to the hospital tonight. <clears throat> so I had to make arrangements to leave work. So I'm packing up tonight and I'll leave first thing in the morning. Um, and he may have surgery tomorrow, so. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I didn't see it. Done. Sorry, my shoulder's not working right now. <clears throat> Bread it and deep fry it. Mm -hmm. I have a bow, so let me... Uh, yeah, me too. The, the doctor will be there first thing in the morning. Um, they're the one that suggested it, so they're only taking out the one mass, just one of the masses in his brain. The other two, they're supposed to do radiation on. But they said it was fairly, fairly simple where it's positioned at. Yeah, it's good to hear. But I'll be there. Um, he'll have like a three three days stay in the hospital. Thanks, John W. Yeah, me too. I just want him to live forever. Bye, Leslie. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll get on when I need to vent, when I need to stretch my legs, because <clears throat> I can live stream from my phone too, so I may just do that, like when I go out to have a cigarette or something, hop on, say hi to everybody. Now Eric's been AOL, so he's been no comfort, just kidding. <laughs> Out having fun. We'll be filming seven shows tomorrow because I'll be always. What? On a side note, I'll be filming seven shows tomorrow because I'll be away from KY coins for a while. Walk in the parking lot looking for coins when you need a break. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. I'm always looking down. See a penny, pick it up, right? Every penny starts with the do every dollar starts with a penny. Oh. Yeah. It's okay. 
You had a life before me, so I can't make that not happen. It's okay, it's okay. Filming seven shows, so are you are you filming some fish and stuff, Eric? you stopped. I'm glad you popped in. That's a good thing. <laughs> you can always see my smile on any one of my things. It doesn't have to. You just like it because you make me blush and you make me smile. So. <laughs> That's for you. <laughs> my twinkly eyes. My tink twinkly red, white, and blue eyes. <laughs> Ow. Yeah. Seven coin shirts to upload because I'll be. Oh. That's right. You're going to be there for what, four days, right? Four days, Eric. Four days. Well, you'll end up getting some good loving from your lady. From your lady. <laughs> well, good, good. Keep them coming, keep them coming. Yeah, Justin was asking about you earlier. And Cheryl was asking about you. No one's seen you. I told him that, you know, you'd worked a double shift or had to work overtime yesterday, probably sleeping. But no, you were out fishing. You were fishing. Relaxing. We quit having coin shows around here, West Arkansas. Yeah, well, I wonder why. I haven't been, I've never been to a coin show. I figured you were. Sleeping. With your hounds. Sleeping with your hounds. That's good. Everybody has their coins. I want to go to one really bad. <clears throat> In Virginia. Oh my god, I would, I would just, I would go crazy. Like when Clash went to that one and he recorded it. That was amazing. That was pretty amazing to watch. I would be like overwhelmed, I think. I think I'd have to have somebody with me to, like, make me not, like, spend all my money on one coin. <laughs> Try to get more value. I need to look up. <laughs> I love dogs that snore, as long as they're not in my bed. George snores. Okay. Can you send me a picture of your hounds? Eleven thirty. Late. What's everybody doing tomorrow? I want to know what everyone's doing tomorrow. As I wind down, I should have you guys like. Oh, I got a pack still. I'm just gonna throw everything in the box. Going to the banks. Bug my parents. <laughs> oh, your parents have got to be saints. <laughs> they have got to be saints. Or heavy drinkers, one of the two. <laughs> to write a song. You're a cool kid. Going to the bank and probably mowing some yards. It's not raining. You're so awesome that you do that coin and card. Coin and card does like volunteer work. Like she'll go and mow people's yards for like the elderly and for people that can't do it, which is really amazing. I love that you do that. I'm sure you do, Sean. <laughs> if you have your phone with you, I'll send, okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. My height pad's down to 10%.
I miss all my <laughs> all my chargers. Okay, I got on. You're going mail detector tomorrow. Should go to a school or a well hunted beach. Mm. What time are you going, Ashton? <laughs> Yeah, school is after hours or a well hunted beach in the evening. As soon as I can have halves to hit, I hop first. Yeah, kids do drop cool stuff. I'm waiting for the picture, Eric. I'm waiting for the picture. I'm waiting for the picture. I whispered in your ear. <laughs> Oh. I just got a little, little brain headache. Oh, I'm losing people. I took $30 and changed to one bank and went to another and got $20 in nickels and $10 in pennies. Perfect. <laughs> Take your bike to the bank. Oh, being slow. Are you private messaging it to me? So school isn't in yet. So, oh, that's right. Um, so there's sense of kind of... Why would I hate you do that? <laughs> oh, Eric's doggies. <laughs> They're out. They are out. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm ready to move in over there. I'm ready to move up there. You still got my room ready? You need to get me a nice... I got it. Did you send me another picture? All right, Ashton, thanks for coming by. I got it, I showed it. Puppy dog, scared me. I'll see you tomorrow. Did you make sure that you went and vote? I'll leave a like on the stream. Thank you. Thank you for the likes. I got 28 likes. I have a room, double bed, dresser, vanity, all for me. I'm on my way. I might have to fly out there soon for like a weekend. Go up there and check it out. Swim in the water. Mm -hmm. Eric and Sylvia sitting in the tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G <laughs> Remember that song? We used to hate it though. When we were kids and it, somebody would say that. Would sing that song to you. because <laughs> First comes love. Then comes marriage. Then comes baby and a baby carriage. <laughs> no babies though. Are we dating? He's my YouTube husband. <laughs> my YouTube husband. I'm trying to swoon him. Right, whatever. <laughs> well, that's funny but yeah I remember in, in school that you know kids would make fun of you and like if you had a crush on somebody I know I know it's Sean 
Oh, when they would sing that to you? I shall never go to suit now. <laughs> I know. It would be like, and then you'd be like, no, no, uh uh. And you'd be like all embarrassed. And then it's like, it'd be even worse, like when like people started like joining in on the song. <laughs> Your friend was like, one person would start singing it and then it'd be like three or four people singing it all to you. Get so mad. Call out. Wouldn't go to school. You'd play sick the next day. <laughs> what, Ishan? How did you know each other? No. Well, kids are always singing it. No, we didn't know each other as kids. Maybe in another lifetime we knew each other. We're just friends, is Sean? <laughs> His w mind is always on overload. Always, I can see. I can. I can do a live stream with just a Sean. <laughs> he just uh, ask every different kind of question. <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> well, anyways, yeah, we're just friends. We're just flirting. That's all. 28 likes. Somebody, did somebody thumb down me? Somebody didn't like my feed? I'm looking at the clock right there. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore, Eric. Maybe it's just too much. Have I ever dyed my hair? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have dyed my hair. This is my actually my natural color is Sean. But I've dyed it I've dyed it red you know like like uh auburn i've done it blonde i've done it black i've done it a bunch of i'll show you pictures of me if sean asked us to min mandy on j3b today <laughs> let's see um photos of sylvia i'll show you some of my different hair colors Yeah, my black hair is pretty extreme when I do my black hair. What are you saying? We probably shouldn't raise too many questions. I'm sure Justin has had questions a while back. Oh, what am I doing? What are you trying to say, Eric? Are you breaking up with me? All right, J John W. I'll see ya. Thanks for coming by. Oh, here's my red hair. Oh, you can't really tell. You can't really tell. I have like red hair there. Here's me with my black hair. Look at here's me like when I was fat before I told I told you that I lost a lot of weight. Look how fat I am. That was that was a while ago. I was fat. Yeah. Here's me and my granddaughter. <laughs> oh, where am I? Oh, here's me blonde. 
It doesn't even look like me. Mm-hmm. That's me and my daughter. Oh, it's freaking stupid. Too much glare. Let me see my black hair. I have a really good shot of me and my black hair. My hair's blonde. Again. Blonde. That wasn't too long ago. And this is <laughs> this is how Maddie sleeps. And, oh, you can't see it, damn it. It's got her leg all up. Okay. I see black hair, black hair, black hair. I, the, the most I weighed, I got up to like 100, 197 pounds. And that's when I, I'm like, I'm done. That's okay. I don't mind. Because he won't stop. Now oh, here's me with my blonde hair again. Oh, I can't. Freaking stupid glare. I don't know where my black hair is. I look really good with my hair. Here's my more blonde hair. Blondie. I was a blondie. Yes, I will. My son, Spectre. God, I hate Claire's. I don't know. <laughs> what? Sixteen hoop brings it in each shin. No logical reason for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know where it's at. Oh, here's my dog. Here's my Charlie horse. I miss my Charlie. Five percent. Anyways, yeah. Quit asking us, Sean. Dark purple hair in high school. Pierced your shins. That's weird. I looked real funny when I ran across country and track. I've seen the pictures. I turned a lot of heads, probably in not such a good way. I think some parents were like, look at that degenerate. <laughs> I can do anything legally. <laughs> there you go. Good answer. West Texas is a good answer. Let's see what sexual predator gets through window on Channel 10 News. Fantastic. I can sickos. Yeah. All right, guys. I need to call it a night. I need to, it's almost midnight, quarter to 12. I need to pack some bags. I pack my bags and get them loaded in my truck tonight. So all I have to do is just wake up and throw on some clothes and leave. <clears throat> I do have a big day tomorrow. Do you indeed have a big day tomorrow. All right. Nice hanging out with y'all. 151 minutes with no music. The silence. I could just listen to that. My favorite song. Mm -hmm. Called Silence. I really hope everything goes smoothly. I will have cell service most of the day, so keep me twisted, please. You never answer your phone. Okay, West Texas. 
It was fun. It was fun hanging out with you, like always, always fun hanging out with you. And what's your first name again? Rosalind, right? Rochelle or Rosalind? Robin's house close. Okay. Thanks, Eric. All right, guys. Is Sean get some sleep? Don't piss off your parents. You can come ask me any question you want. Only on my live stream, though. Don't do that in the big chat rooms, is Sean. Hold it deep down inside and stuff it in your toes. Write them down. Something. Okay. We'll get through this. I know you're a curious boy. You're a very curious boy. I'm going to go watch your videos of Sean real quick, okay? Okay. All right, you guys. Love your guts. Love you, too. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wait. Let me show a picture of him real quick. A really cool picture first before I get off because I love it. Of me and him. That's my favorite picture. Why is that house with the glare? That's our best picture. <laughs> there. Who's that? Okay, on that note. God, I wish you could see it better. It's got better, nicer color. Anyways, all right, you guys. He does have an epic beard, for sure. He is an amazing man. He is a happy guy. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm going to go now. All right, you guys, I love you, and I will talk to you later.